Welcome to my domain. It is I, Lord Mink, and together we're going into the dungeons of the crypt and dance with the skeletons, zombies, and other spooky, scary monsters. <laughs> so prepare yourself, we're probably going to die a lot. But that's just how the game is. And we enjoy the tunes of death metal. <laughs> okay, I'm not gonna do this the whole time because it's gonna be very exhausting for me, but... Hey there! Hello Turtle, hello Psycho Fox, how are you doing? Hope you're doing well. It is spooky scary Halloween week, so we're gonna play something that would be very appropriate, so... Uh, Crypt of the Necro Dancer is basically the, the, the quote-unquote scariest game that I have. <laughs> uh, I'm not really, not really that interested in horror games. Hey there, Blast Hero. How are you doing? Glad to see you back. Uh, <clears throat> and I did some changes, however, to make this game a bit scarier. So, if you're familiar with how the game normally looks like, it's looking a bit different, a bit scary, a bit bloodier, a lot of more red. And so I got this mod that I, something, something blood, it is called. I, I completely forgot. But yeah, it makes everything look way scarier, and it's perfect. So I'm just gonna do some normal rounds, and then maybe later get. Uh, get some tries in for some hard modes. We'll see how I will do. Maybe, maybe we'll get somewhere. But yeah, <clears throat> it's the first round. Just a warm up round. So if I die, it's it's just a warm up. <sighs> All right. You can see the faces of these monsters, of these slime monsters. Very sk very different from what they normally are. Hmm. The boots would be nice, but well, I'm just gonna risk it. So, how are you all doing? Have you been doing anything special for this week? For the last week of October? This Halloween week? Although I'm sorry that uh, while I'm playing I'm not the best at talking because, well, you can probably guess that this requires a lot of concentration, especially the later levels. But in between levels I can still talk, so we'll do that instead. It's not the first time that I play this game during the stream, so the last time the system worked. So yeah. Like this, for example, and let's just go to, to pause. <clears throat> doing fine, that's great to hear. I'm doing okay. Uh, the last couple of days have been a bit... Um, because yesterday I got my new gas boiler. Because the old one was malfunctioning and... Well, if I'm not able to heat up my apartment and and w don't have any warm water, it's it's a bit of an issue, so a new one had to come in. Uh, <clears throat> so that alone is not that big of a deal, to just come in in the morning and do their work while I'm also doing something else and that's it. Um, but the day before, I was trying to sleep, but while I was laying in bed, I had these terrible, terrible leg cramps that just, ah, they were the worst that I ever had. 
so I'm assuming that I had them just simply because I overdid it with my workout the day before on Monday. Um, because then, like, I, I did a lot. I did, uh, well, how I normally do the, my workout is I play some... Uh, What's it, what's it called again? Step Mania. Uh, and I've been playing a lot of very hard songs and I didn't really properly warm up and stretch. But after I was playing, I didn't feel sore or anything. I felt fine. But when I was laying down in bed in order to sleep, it just really started to hurt and the muscles tensed up so badly that I wasn't able to move my, my right leg anymore. And, uh, but also while not moving it still hurt like crazy. And I was trying to fall asleep and I couldn't for like I don't know how long. Uh, but then at some point I did fall asleep, but, but when I did, I also dreamt of having leg cramps. It was so bad that I even dreamt of it right after. Uh, and then at some point, like, I was trying to, like, hold the leg and, like, apply pressure in order to see if that something, something changes. And then I figured out that while I was, like, compressing my lower leg, it actually got better. So I stood up and got the idea to just wrap around some um, a bandage, a, a flexible bandage around my lower leg and then it was much better. And it's kind of crazy that it worked. Just wrapping around the bandage and whoops, there, the, the cramps are gone. And it was still sore from all of that tense uh, pain. But other than that, it was fine. And the next day I was able to greet the technicians and so on and so forth and didn't really have much of a problem. Well, well, that was... that was not fun. Ugh. Fox says, I've been doing well, thanks. Just posting the first demos of the album. That's awesome. Yeah. What you've been posting so far, uh, I really liked a lot and I'm looking forward to see more. Your internet died, turtle. Oh, I hope it's getting better. It's getting better soon. Let's get back to the game. That was my story. My old man story. <laughs> it really seems like I'm getting old. Or you could say just simply careless. Learned my lesson to properly do the warm up and stretching before I do my workouts. So learn from my mistakes, <laughs> please. Wish I had a bomb. of the sketchbook are ending oh no well so it's gonna be time to start a new one but it's also exciting to <laughs> and to finish a whole sketchbook at least i would say so i never really finished a sketchbook because well i mostly draw digitally or on just on individual pages when I draw uh, traditionally. Uh, 
I tried once to get used to drawing in a sketchbook. But then the one that I used wasn't really that great. Also, the, the pages were able to move, they were able to shift around. And as a result... As a result, when I moved the sketchbook and the pages were shifting, they were kind of like... They had a friction between them and therefore were smudging out uh, the pencil. And basically ruined all the drawings that I had inside. So I switched back to drawing on individual pages. Also, I'm doing terrible right now. I should focus a little bit more. But that's the, that's the little dilemma with this game. It's a lot of fun. But I can't really talk all that well while playing it. <laughs> Even the sounds are, are spooky scary. Ah. Yeah. <clears throat> Hopefully a good weapon. Ah, uh, glass. It's risky. But oh well. Dad was always coming in. Let's try to focus. And I'm almost dead. Ah, oh, okay. Should I get the spear? No, let's let's be risky. So how do you like the Halloween decoration on this stream? I mean, I didn't do all that much. Just added these, these skeletons from this game and some cobwebs and that's about it. But it's better than nothing. At least I would say. Get to the to the next level. <clears throat> awesome. You also love the beginning. <laughs> I'm glad. I did a little bit of practicing, but not all that much. <laughs> love the decorations. Yeah. I'm glad to hear that. I like them. an awkward situation. Well... If I don't get a new weapon... I'm screwed. I get a lot of bombs in these levels, but... That doesn't help me. Oh, 
Okay. Still alive. I guess this would just give me a drum that doesn't help me. Ah, that was a st stupid si situation. Ah, okay. As I said, it was just a warm up. Also, I haven't really played this game since quite a while. Definitely should have practiced a little bit more. Ah, this portal sucks. Just gives me glass stuff and no thanks to that. Also, after I'm done with this try, I can show you the new raid alert that I finished. So if you remember, I've been working on that the last couple of drawing streams. And I finished the animation. And integrated it into OBS. The only issue is just that it's a bit too quiet. And I cannot regulate the sound level via Streamlabs because it's integrated into the video and it's just a, a bit a bit dumb how they do that, but oh well. <laughs> but yeah. <clears throat> I wanted to do a post, like a tweet or something, to show off the new animation. But as I was trying to do it, I figured out that the sound level was off. And then I had too little time to fix it before the stream. <sighs> I hate bats. Oh god. Yeah, there was no escape. As I was running down this hallway, I already, I already saw it coming. Ah. Well, alright. Well, I can show off the... Oh, okay. Let's go back to the lobby. So... I'm gonna do a test, a test host, and there you can see. So you can hear it a little bit better over, over the game. Oh god. <laughs> yep. It's very weird, I know. <laughs> but that was the point. <clears throat> then, yeah. So... That took me a while to figure out. <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> um... Assembling the animation was was simple enough. This was just whatever. But then, first of all, um, I had to use a specific file extension in order to integrate it into OBS, um, which is called a WebM, which also apparently is used very commonly on websites and stuff. 
Well, so at first I had to get a plugin for Premiere and then figure out how it works. And then um, when I was exporting it, for some weird reason, it had like these weird blurry lines and like kind of like a weird after image for every movement and it looked just crappy. And tried to figure out how to remove that. And it was weird because I did a small test animation with the same settings the same resolution everything and then it wasn't like didn't have these graphical glitches so i didn't know what to do and in the end it was just simply because the resolution was too high although the test animation was the same resolution so like i wasted so much time with this crap <sighs> then I was also trying to figure out how to place the text because if I just integrate it like that, the text would be right in the middle of the screen and I don't want it. If you can if you remember the the text was about right here, right above the mink. So in order to customize that you have to go a little bit into the programming side of it, which is still very simple for something as simple as just you know, moving the position of some text. Um, but yeah, it still took me a while. And then also, I did a little mistake in the animation because I forgot some, some stuff at the end and which made it awkwardly long and like, yeah, and so on. So forth. Like I did a lot of tiny mistakes which resulted me, uh, resulted in wasting a lot of hours, basically. But still, it is done. It's not quite done because, as I said, the, the sound level, I cannot customize, I cannot like um, change it in OBS because it's integrated into the uh, video and apparently I cannot change it, the, the video volume. Like, I don't know why. And so, um, what I probably have to do is separate video and audio and bo put both of them into OBS and ho just hope that they are synced and yeah. <sighs> so yeah, that's, that's it. Later during the stream I'm probably gonna show it off again if, if you would like to see it. And yeah. So whenever somebody is going to raid or host us then that alert is going to play. <laughs> so look forward to that. So let's get back to the game. I gotta get a good attempt in. Alright, everything is a bit too expensive. Killing the shopkeeper right now would be a terrible idea. can't really use it yet because I want it for the health extension. For that I have to have full health. Please bat! Oh god, thank you. Get hit. Yeah, 
and we're out. Hmm. Nah, I don't want to do this. Don't really have a good weapon. Ooh, that's always nice. Alright. Welcome back, turtle. One thing with this mod is that the colors are just simply not used to those colors. So sometimes I'm not really able to tell what kind of uh, type of monster they are. What type of bat, what type of skeleton. It's a little bit of getting... Needs a little bit of getting used to. Ghosts. So now we have some really good vision over the whole map. Not only can we see the whole map, but we can also see all the items around. We got a bowl. It's gonna come back. <sighs> this bat. But I healed up right after. It's an apple, but don't really need it. Oh, no, it's free though. I'll take it. Heck yeah, for free stuff. We got the... We got the rare music. Oh god. All right, let's do this. Wait. Better do it like this, of course. Help! 
Yeah. Did it, yeah. Dad was always right. <laughs> coming and going on his adventures. But this time he seemed more excited. He said he'd found it. So he There's fucking metal. When I was older, I found the notes he left behind. Hmm? Directions to a graveyard. Oh, no, Uncle Eli tried to stop me. But Dad had been gone for two years. I had to find him. Today was also the first day that I was using the heat, the heater, and now Hawker really wants to to sit next to the heater. I have a chair next to the window with, with under which the heater is, and I can't really put the camera over there. It's a bit too far away. <laughs> but yeah, sorry. Maybe she'll decide to go somewhere else later. The heater is not on right now, so... I'd like to get this here. The mushroom counted. Okay. Um... Yeah, let's just... I could have, uh, could have combined it. Well, I still can do something. Uh, yes, it's pretty cold. It's not that cold, but still. Oh, it's for selling. I was not properly looking just now. The temperatures are still not freezing or anything, but still. The apartment temperatures are already at about 17 degrees. Now the temperatures are only during the day even under 10 Celsius. Ah. But it wasn't really necessary for me to turn on the heat. I did feel quite cold before I started streaming, even though I had like all the layers on. So how I normally do it is I have like, um, I have two pairs of pants on, then a shirt, then like, uh, two or three layers above it, like a jacket and stuff like that. And then a blanket over it, put it over the head, so it, I stay extra warm. And yeah, <laughs> that's how I normally do it. And it's a, it's, it's, it's a lot, but it doesn't feel all that uncomfortable. And if I can stay warm like that, instead of using the heat, then I, I prefer just putting on more layers and that's it because it doesn't cost me and saves energy and you know um oh yeah also one other thing i do is i have these these packages that i made filled with rice with just simple rice um and the the fabric that i used is some kind of natural fabric so not synthetic and i put it in the microwave for like a couple of minutes and it's really nice and heated up and stays warm for a while and just put it into one of my layers and keeps my chest warm so it's also a nice little trick to um, warm yourself up a little bit or sometimes i just simply do some very very short workout while still have all my clothes on 
and short short enough so I warm up, but I don't get extremely sweaty or anything with all the clothes that I have on. So I can do this without ne necessarily having to shower every single time after it. Uh, but I still basically shower almost every day because of the workout, the actual workout that I do, which normally takes about half an hour. <sighs> but yes, that's my strategy. And normally I can get to like 17 or like even 16 degrees indoors here in my here in my living room i have to say yeah. my living room is my warmest room in my apartment the other rooms are much colder but the living room like i am here the whole time and my computer is here and the computer is producing a lot of heat of course um therefore it stays warmer and also when i turn on the heat um the, the heat is warming up the, the living room more than the other rooms. So yeah. So while it is like something like 17 degrees in here, it can have something like 14 degrees on in the other rooms or something like that. Yeah. It's kind of hot today. Oh yeah, you're living on the other hemisphere. That's right. <clears throat> For you, it's getting warmer. <laughs> Anything that I need, I could get that backpack. That's a glass torch. I don't really have much to Ooh, the bow. Want that. Yes. All of that stuff is really good. The boots are really good for the third level. Oh, the bow. The bow is the best weapon. No, the best weapon is actually the hammer. But the bow is also really good. Well, I would say hammer and bow are basically on the same level. They're both really good. Love the extra range. downside now is however that I don't have to heal from the broadsword Let's 
Pepsi. Ooh, piercing. I'm getting a really good build together. I can move on. Nothing interesting. Oh, I love piercing, it's so good. Nice dragon. That spell is pretty lame. And the topic of the stream, but I have a question. When you're drawing characters that have fur, do fur first or later? Uh, when I draw characters, normally I do the sketches, like the basic structure at first. And the basic structure I kind of imagine without the fur. And so, like, you just like... For example, if you draw a cat. Then I draw the basic structure with like how the muscle packs would kind of be formed and like the individual uh, segments of the legs and stuff. And then on top of that, uh, I will draw the fur. And I don't really necessarily need to sketch out the fur. But yeah, that's normally how I do this. Hope that answered the question. Also, it's totally fine to talk about something else other than, like, something else than Halloween stuff. It's the theme, but it doesn't mean that we can't talk about anything else. Uh, that surprised me. Having a torch would be nice. Sucks. <laughs> You're welcome, Turtle. We were so happy together until my mother got sick. I just want to help you, Melody. Can't you see that? There's a reason my mother took that thing away, Dorian. Don't go. I have to find it. I, I have to risk it. Stupid spider. Alright. Come <laughs> on. 
Could've got a torch. But this way I won't get completely surprised. Anything behind the walls. Ah. The dig dash kind of confused me there. attention to the spider. Spider. Oh, that was a mistake. Simple enough with this weapon. Oh, some armor. <laughs> the whole time I didn't have any armor. No. Now here's the problem with the hover boots. I don't make contact with this line here. Therefore I don't get this electric effect from it. I would like to get some other, some different boots. Example, I cannot beat these zombies while they're on this line without an electric effect. And these ghosts, uh
So far so good. a mess. Spell is good. And this spell sucks because then it's gonna replace everything with glass if you have everything already. different too. Never heard it. Perfect, by the way. Also, this music is different. Oh. I don't think that it's from the mod. I definitely heard that song before. Alright. 
I I hope that this song is not gonna cause the vault to to be muted or anything. You're about to find out. I I definitely know this song from another another music streamer who is covering this song. And I don't think it's from this game. It's some some other kind of song, I'm pretty sure. Uh, I, well, I, I don't... I'm not sure. But uh, we'll see. If I get some kind of copyright claim after this stream, then well... That's the reason. <sighs> now let's see, let's, let's get the kitty show. enjoy having a kitty cam for sure. Just not my kitty. Want to share her beautiful face with the world. get another run in I'm not gonna jump right into the hard mode yet uh, but instead well the scores the the run duration is not that great we already know that um, let's choose a different character so last time I tried I think it was Nocturna yeah for the first time and I actually liked her a lot and well, her design is even more Halloween appropriate, so why not play her again? And let's see. Also, the the boss, the final boss is very different, and so that's pretty cool. Well, Kitty has left us again. Oh no. Let's see when she will come back. Bah. Sorry, burpee again. <sighs> All right. But the gimmick about this character is that she can. The last hit will transform her into a bat. Think. I don't quite remember all that well. So you get the rapier, which is a very good weapon, but you also have to deal with harder monsters right from the beginning. Also I love this electric effect that got now changed to some kind of blood magic. Maybe we can show it off again. There. 
looks pretty cool. Let's get some armor. So those gold deposits are a bit less obvious in the skin. Mosquitoes. Mm. Those suckers are surely annoying. One thing that I like about the winter is that all bugs just simply disappear out of your apartment. Because they either die or they... I don't know go into some kind of hibernation mode or at least I think the eggs go into some hi kind of hibernation mode that's I think how they handle it but you don't have to deal with them anymore and it's just a nice break from those little little annoying guys oh they're freezy And I do not like bugs. I really hate having them in my apartment. Outside, they can fly around however much they want to. Uh, it's fine. As long as it's not right in my face. <clears throat> but in my apartment, nope. I need to get out. Either get out as a bug or get eliminated. That's just how it goes in here. I do need to heal quite a lot, so it's better to have a blood weapon. And the whip is... can be quite convenient. The dragon. Yeah. Death 
All right, here we go again. Let's freaking rock. I'm getting this rare song pretty, pretty often today. All right, let's go. You could say, because I'm an Austrian, that this is the song of my people. <laughs> Something like that. I don't know. All right. The dead do rise here. But they'll never learn the truth about this place. Oh. I'll destroy it before I let them learn its secrets. Uh -oh. I knew it. Kidding now. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> The whip in this level is pretty good because you can deal with the armadillos and the shield guys pretty efficiently. And Kitty's gone again. Ooh. This one's always nice. It's almost as good as the normal map. Uh, yeah, let's go. That's the wrong way to get to the shop. Ah, this is this is the problem with the whip. I can't get out if if I keep attacking. Attack power. Oh! 
Ah, screwed myself there. Ooh. This is not more attack power, but... I love this weapon. I have so much range with it. It's basically the six fields in front of you can be attacked. And it's just... Amazing. <sighs> Still need to be a bit careful. That's all right. Let's go for this one. Uh, I hate this one. I don't like it. There were also rumors of a scientist the townsfolk had called the Conductor. Something about trying to harness the lightning. Keep this right metal back. veins. I can oh. feel them pulsing with life. Oh, yeah. oh. Maybe I can follow them to their beating heart. Uh, I was lucky that there was nothing coming right at me. Here is a fun of both. Yeah. 
No. Nothing good. don't like these guys, these, these bug things that, this freaking impenetrable armor. Oh. Hey there cat, what are you doing? Just popping in for a bit? Oh, you're, you're doing well and all of your exam stuff without any problems. I'm doing okay. Thank you for asking. Also where is Kitty right now? She's back there. She has calmed down. But this one is easy with this weapon. I just smash everything. See? I told you. Ooh. I got a lot of familiars now. I could have used the freeze item, but it wasn't even necessary. We're not all that different, you know. We may serve different masters, but we're both puppets. Dancing from a string. My strings aren't so easily cut. Time to find the hand pulling your strings. Hi. Of course it exploded. damage. Got a lot of healing. Either. Whatever. It doesn't really matter, I'm gonna heal it anyways. Ha! <laughs> 
That was kind of a mess. All right. Also could have gone better, but oh well. They took away everything that was dear to me and left me to wander forever in the darkness. I have to feed. I have to obey the clan. I may not be able to stop the vampire clans, but I can stop this scientist from keeping even more souls from the afterlife. <sighs> A bit late for this item, but oh well. The rapier would be nice for the extra damage, but having the hammer is just so convenient. Let's get this here. I really have to say they did a great job with this mod. Looks so bloody and scary. damage finally and a little bit more defense too all right total Let's see if I remember how to beat that guy. Hmm. 
Oh boy, that was a bit close. Fitting that your laboratory is in a crypt. After I kill you, I won't have to bother with a burial. Why ever would you kill me? I'm pushing science centuries beyond anyone's comprehension. I'm creating life. Creating life? You're cheating death. Bending lost souls to your will. They don't want your science. They crave freedom. I should know. Oh, I see. You want to be human again. I may be able to do that with this. I admit I don't completely understand it, but the loot has... is... power. No. No, you've meddled enough with life and death. This ends now. Alright, let's go. <sighs> let's see if I... I'm gonna completely mess this up. Didn't all that didn't do all that great with the previous fight. Game. Okay. I guess I needed to press something. Now I remember. Fight is such a mess. But well, we did it. We did it. Oh, well, that went better than expected, actually. <laughs> uh, uh. Uh, let me switch over to sitting again.
give my back a little bit of rest. Alright, so... What are we gonna do next? Is the question. So, I would like to try... Cadence again, but... But... In hard mode. So, hard mode... Basically means... That, first of all, the, there are two uh, mini-bosses for every single stage. Then, also, every stage has these coffins, these undestructible coffins. Well, destructible, but we need would need bombs, I think. Uh, that continuously spawn monsters of different kinds. And they keep on going, and those monsters always chase you. And also the the bosses, the boss stages, have two additional mini bosses to make it harder for you. And also the overall level of the of the monsters is a bit higher, I think. I'm not so sure about that, but yeah, it's quite something. So this is most likely not going to be a first try. Um, success but we'll see what happens and how far I'm gonna get I beat it once if, if I remember on hard mode and that was about it <laughs> and there were many many tries all right gonna make it a bit more comfortable for me and then we'll go more enemies harder bosses This coffin, for example, co keeps on spawning little skeletons, and I cannot destroy this coffin of normal means. Alright, this is... A good ring to have right from the beginning. Also, the spawned monsters don't give you any gold. So if you think you could farm gold like that, nope. But you might be able to farm health this way. With some kind of blood weapon. But as I said before, you can destroy them. It just requires a bomb. I'm gonna take this very slow and easy. Alright, let's have some wishing and ah. Uh, oh. can't take that long because the song is already at its end. Probably not gonna be able to make it. Nope. It's impossible.
<sighs> Still survive. That's the problem with when you run out of time. You might end up in one of these arenas. Alright. What am I doing? Bombs, it's always good. Ooh, yes, give me that. Save my life. Let's see. Um, better weapon, please. Ah, no! No, I'm gonna say no to that. Ooh. That's nice. Would like to have that rape here, but... Just one move away. Ah. Ah, no. Freaking stupid button. Combo here. Oh. oh, that used my potion. That's not good. <sighs> but there, nothing. Why did I do that? That was a stupid way to die. It was not because of the hard mode or anything. It was just stupid of me. Let's try this again. I hate those doors that close themselves again. It's just annoying. You know what, let's restart. This is just ugh. Alright, I'm just gonna let this monkey be trapped in there. Come <laughs> on. 
What am I doing? At least a little bit more damage. Ah, bats. Forgot that I had more damage now. Oh well. Let's move on. What is wrong with me? I can't believe that I didn't get hit there. afford it. The ring would be neat. Some extra damage, but I will. <sighs> should have just should have should have just digged. love to have the shovel but I would have to kill that guy on this be stupid and very risky too of course
Nope. Goodbye. Maybe I should have taken the axe, but uh not a big fan. Well okay, let's get an axe. That's exactly why I don't like the axe. That's exactly why. Because it's stupid dash. That is... The, the rapier at least doubles your damage. Therefore it's a bit safer to dash. Because you're gonna probably kill whatever you're dashing towards. In this case I still wouldn't have killed it. But anyways. Ah. Oh well. My brain is just not really able to process this weapon. It's all good though. It's a challenge, you know? It's a hard mode. And I'm not really angry. After all, also, this game is very... very luck-based. <sighs> that happens when I start talking again. So how your run is going very, very strongly depends on what you're getting in the first area. very good. And this. And there we go. So if I leave this skeleton headless, they're not gonna spawn any more of them. That bat would have gone right for me. Oh my god. Ah. 
Ah! Freaking spitting fire from a distance. Now I'm already almost dead. see it and then just a stupid random movement of th those goddamn bats let's get this one here expensive This is again my fault. I can't even get out of the first area. I'm doing terrible. But it's still fun. What am I doing? Terrible. Well, let's get out of here. No bombs. Oh well.
still... Come on, let's at least get out of the first area. And then I will allow myself a little break. Oh, pretty good. Let's get this one here too. Well, better than nothing. Didn't even see that guy. That was the whip. That was the whip and not me being able to properly process how to use the whip. Because I'm not used to it because I normally don't like it. I just need a good weapon at the very beginning and then I'm then I'm good to go. But I don't seem to get anything. Some long sword, a spear, oh, I don't know. Just give me something. Having a good weapon and not a dagger anymore makes such a huge difference in difficulty. Huh. 
Here we have a long sword, but I cannot use it because it's too expensive. Let's at least get this here. Just needed to get out of there. <sighs> Alright, let's get... Okay. Forget it. The song will run out. I can't really do anything against it. The crappy weapons, the broadsword and the harp are just also so crappy. Another friggin' broadsword. I'm out of here. And they make <sighs> another harp. Only these trashy freaking weapons. I mean, at least it's a better one than a normal harp.
Alright, in this situation the harp was useful. Stupid of me. <sighs> Come on, at least beat the first area. That's my only goal right now. Nothing that I can afford. That would be very useful. Ah. <laughs> Whoops. Ah! How cool. What are you doing? Where are you? Come up here? Come up here? Michelania is so pretty. Oh, such a, such a wet nose. Wow, wow, wow. Mm -hmm. hmm? Kitty Meow, what are you doing? Ooh, your nose is so wet. Hey, look, kitty. Look. Oh, my gosh. I'm excited. Ooh, the brush. Ooh, the brush on mine. Hee hee hee. You're so happy. So happy. That's a happy little thing. Wait. All right, let's get back to the game. Well, do you want more attention, hmm? You want more and more, little kitty. <sighs> All right. New power with new energy from the kitty. Let's see. Or we're gonna do oh. almost didn't notice. That monkey can stay there. <sighs> Let's risk it. Screw it. Oh, there was a bomb field, okay. Goodbye. Ooh, nice. That's 
makes things a little bit easier, not having to deal with the ghosts. Here comes this guy. Ah, uh, that guy's gonna run all the way, okay, whatever. It will come back at some point. In the meantime, gonna take care of the rest. What a stupid mistake for me again. Nope. Nothing that I can afford. What am I doing? many mistakes. Mystery weapon, alright. It's a whip. Alright, that's okay. Definitely has more than two power, two damage. Cool. That's an obsidian one. Obsidian whip. to go all the way around to get to the shop. Yeah, that's not worth it. Not helpful. Although, let's also get this here. Mainly for the bombs. This 
scared me a little. This portal is always very good. skeleton is just gonna run into the spikes over and over again. Useless boots. Did they bring the monkey with me now? Alright, we have the normal music this time. The less metal music. But still, pretty cool. me why did I did I lose the beat because I definitely pressed right and I should have moved to the right but I didn't what the... okay that was stupid I'm pretty sure I pressed right <sighs> again not even the first area and well, this is hard mode. This is hard mode. At least had a decent weapon, but... Uh. Also, that boss is, for me at least, the hardest. Like the beat, the beat is so fast, and there is always so much stuff going on in that arena that it's difficult to keep track of. Especially if you have like two additional mini bosses in there. And the whip actually makes it a bit harder because you keep attacking stuff. Even though you might want to just run away, you might want to dodge. Nothing.
but we're out of here. like that weapon all that much but still better than just a dagger especially for the damage this weapon here even though this flail has more damage well just as I lost the beat well whatever Everything is in the way. Mm. I'm gonna restart. I'm not I'm not even letting it kill me. Completely trapped there myself because I went into panic mode. Getting sloppier. After this attempt I might do a normal one, because the hard mode is quite exhausting I do have to say. I especially don't like the fast moving bats. making noises. Ah, oh, she's sitting at the window, I think. Is the case? No, where is she? Meow? Where are you? Well, whatever. She's not in front of the camera. Well. Uh, I'm gonna... Gonna go back and do a normal... A normal run. Unfortunately, hard wo hard mode wasn't going all that well for me. And as I said, I only managed to beat it once. I tried several times. And my previous attempts also pretty much went the same way with me not get not getting past the first area. Because as I said, it's very much random. And if you get very good items at the very first area, then you're also good to go for the next areas. Maybe some kind of law like Long sword blood weapon that heals you. Maybe with the foreign crown. Stuff like that can get you quite far. Hmm. Alright. 
Let's get this here. Ah, I wasn't paying attention. I was looking for the for the exit and didn't notice that I actually already found it. All right, let's get the compass. Um, maybe this one too. Because if placed properly, I can open crates. <sighs> Sorry, with that. I do this here. Nice. See, this kind of weapon would be nice for the hard mode. But nope. Oh. Dear. Ah. Alright. It was a bit messy, but that I will. Hmm. 
there was a problem again. I could have told, like, I could have seen that that was a level 3 mage. But I'm still not quite used to these colors. And so, yeah. But also, probably would have happened if the colors were normal. Let's be, let's be honest. <sighs> let's see, where is the kitty? Where is the kitty? Oh, there she is. There we go. <laughs> Caught her just when she was cleaning herself. But we do a little kitty break. Hmm? Meow meow. Meow meow. Microphone is still set to... Yeah. I see you're still here, Psychopox. That's nice to see. Uh, Alright, now we have the webcam microphone. <laughs> huh? What are you doing? This is probably not the cutest music <laughs> for kitty time, but oh well. Ooh, what is that? Meow meow. You use your floof. So it's like a fluff now. Hmm? Would you like to play a little bit? Hmm? Let's see. Yeah, I know that you have been here from the start, Psycho Fox. I do remember. Oh, kitty. Oh, oh. <laughs> Sit down. <laughs> Since the webcam is attached to the to the chair, it makes everything shake when she's moving around wildly like that. But I guess it adds to the to the action. <laughs> wow. It's meow meow. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, she's done. What is it? 
Vamos a mover esto. ¡Guau! 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 The claws, click the clack. <laughs> Snort. This drink, by the way, is made of some out of some natural material. What exactly? I don't know. But um, if she eats it, it's totally fine. It's not some kind of synthetic material, and she destroys it. I had to switch this drink several times. It's just how it is. Always getting shorter and shorter until they're kind of too short to play with them any longer. I guess some kind of synthetic material could be more durable, but still. I don't want to risk it in case it also does get destroyed and eaten by the cats. Here I am again. That was some very spooky, scary content, wasn't it? Yeah. It certainly is better to use these kind of strings. And I have like a whole cord of it. Like, I'm not gonna run out. It's super cheap too, so. The thing is, you really don't have to spend a lot of money for cat toys. What I have is like this cheap string that is like 
I don't know, like a whole court is maybe one euro or something like that. Been using that court for several years at this point. Um, I have a cardboard box. Well, that you know is typical. Um, Sometimes the cats also like to just play around with like little cardboard pieces. Like some kind of little rectangles or something like that and they just kick it around and carry it around and... They also have fun with that and it costs basically nothing. What else do I have? I have some, some stuff that I made myself with some little... with a little bit of cheap fabric but it's still durable and so I have like a little bag filled with catnip and also like a little round toy that I made filled in with other kind of fabric and um, Papa really likes to carry that around it's just basically her I don't know she always brings it to me whenever she is um, some kind kind of desperate or something like that but for example whenever I go to bed she always carries around that round toy and brings it to me like like some kind of like some kind of prey that she hunted you know as a tribute you know like please please pay attention to me please wake up again <laughs> something like that so silly every time sometimes she brings us in front of the bed into the bed and so on <sighs> all right let's give this another try shall we okay and what have you been up to while I was while well, was streaming so far, Psycho Fox. Doing some music stuff again. You did say that uh, as of last week you were done with your exams and university stuff. Is that right? If so, how did it go? attention to the microphone right now. There we go. Too expensive. I mean, at least they don't put the super expensive stuff in the first level. But still, sometimes... It's kind of a joke. Yeah, that was just... I was not focusing properly. Polishing up the songs, I need to make a mixing project so I can insert the tracks and edit the songs that will I see. Class moved from Saturday to, s to Tuesday. Ah, that's... that's what it was, I see. I see, I see. You still have to take those classes. But, well, how is it going in general with those classes? Hope. It's going well and you're enjoying it.
Oh yeah, that's the one that runs away. Yeah, those boots suck. Terrible. Still happy with uh, that I will be able to join soon. So I see. Glad to hear that you're doing well. Let's try this again. I'm really not doing all that well. Oh no, I didn't want to take this. I know what, I'm gonna restart because I really hate having these sunglasses. That monocle. Need money for that. Nice. Let's see. Ooh. That's good. Yeah. I'm not I'm not making money like that. I, f I think it was 88, right? Still need a little bit more. Shortcut, but I definitely want to get back to the shop. Also, it's risky to stay at that low health. At the same time, if I somehow can get healed. I could have more max health.
will have to press this button. would have been dead if it weren't for the talisman. Oh. There we go. that. slipped at this case. <sighs> that was so stupid. was always coming and going on his adventures.
This this spot is so nasty. I can't really get past it. So I have to dig around. This is also stupid because I can't I can't get over there. I have to go the long way around, otherwise it's gonna hit me with the with some kind of fire attack. And some boots. <sighs> Didn't notice that it was the stronger mushroom. Let's get some health. This run is fairly lucky and I'm playing really sloppy. That's why I'm still alive. The rapier, I take it. Come on, let me. Uh, not gonna waste a bomb. Oh my god, are you kidding me? It's completely blocking me off there. All right, there's a goddamn bomb. Healing ring. I take it. Very useful. All right, the boots that I have protect me from fire. That's nice.
I also don't like those guys that run in circles. For some reason they're so hard for me to predict. That. I can switch it out now because I have such good equipment that I don't really need the item vision anymore. Rapier is freaking awesome. Uh, which one would I want? Maybe some spell? Nope. Already have the map, so don't need to blow that up. one I guess Uh. 
Well, it doesn't matter, I'm healing it anyways. Ooh, nice. Can't do anything. Ah, this freaking fairy is in a way, that's the problem. Loving the music? Me too. Ah! No, I didn't want these. Turn it off, turn it off. I was looking at this little ghost instead of my actual sprite. In general, I can recommend Family Jules' music, in case you don't know him yet. There's a lot of video game music covers. Battle covers, it is. That was stupid of me. very sloppy. At this point, I don't even have to care about taking damage because I'm just healing it anyways. Mm, that was nice. No, well, it's gonna come back. And here he is. Nothing interesting. Why did that get opened? Ah, 
Oh, damn it. I got hit by that stupid ghost. Ah, didn't even notice it because there was too much stuff going on. It was the worst timing for it to appear. Oh, well, now I'm kind of desperate. Interesting. Well, gotta be careful then. Can this music? Again, this music, and I have no idea if it's copywritten or not. I mean, it surely is, but I mean, if it will get a copyright claim or something like that. There we go. I'm very curious if this music is gonna get me some some troubles later. I don't know. You're about to find out. Well, we did it. I can still do the normal runs, but hard mode. I really suck at it. I really do. My brain is just not really able to process all of that stuff. It There's tons of it going on on the screen. Well, let's see. What else could we do now? Hmm. I'm thinking maybe with with her 
the hard mode would be a little bit easier because you already have the rapier. Let's try this, shall we? Let's see how it's gonna go. The, the potion is just sitting there? Is this a trap? I'm very confused. Yeah, it just gives me a potion. Never saw that. Normally at least it would be k surrounded by... By some hard walls. Well, this is already going much better. Thanks to the rapier. Hmm, do I want it? Yeah, I guess I'm gonna take it. I do not use the parry mechanic of the rapier all that much. And if I can kill the enemy before it gets close to me, then don't really need it. So I take the additional damage. I had to go all the way around to get this job and then it doesn't even offer anything good. How rude. coming from first dragon I hear it there it is some armor also nice Come. 
back. I still did it without using the potion. So we already are further, got further than all the previous the attempts with Cadence. Nocturnal is really easier than place. Cadence. I'll destroy it before I let them learn its secrets. And it's all thanks to the rapier. And also, we got a bunch of luck here, getting pretty good items very early on. Sometimes items are just lying around. I guess how it works is the level is normally generated like it would be with Cadence and then this tile, this section is dropped in just randomly and it can be also be dropped in at the space where a an item would be and then just the item is left that's why the potion is just just there that's probably how it works Oop. Stupid. What a waste. Oh. Didn't even notice that. Should I risk it? There we go. Got more damage now. All right, give me that here and this.
the stoop what a useless coffin just for an armadillo which is just standing around so I can't just ignore it by surprise but I uh, take it I could have gotten a heal Ghosts always appear the freaking worst time. Oh, some stupid wind can't affect me anymore. Gotta move on. This one. Nope. There were also rumors. Too much going on. Ridiculous. hits and I'm dead. Gotta be careful. Right. We're good. Also very good. Healing, yes. Nice. Damn it. Let's 
screw this. Damn it. Still alive. Which is amazing. Chest most likely doesn't have anything that I need. I'm not gonna even open it. But I want to have this crate. This guy, but I have freeze. Perfect. Would you look at that? Freeze is is the best spell I can tell you. Freeze is so amazing, especially against the bosses. Oh my god. Different masters, but we're both puppets. Dancing from a string. My. All right, we already saw that. Oh, man. So many birds. Well, that was stupid. Nothing that I could use. getting pretty far. useless Alright, 
right, shopkeeper, have fun with this gold that's lying around. Diagonal! Song is over. Come, please. Very dangerous. Freaking monkeys everywhere. Another familiar. bit of a mess but we're still alive I didn't ask to be amazingly turned. they took away everything that was dear to me and left me to wander forever in so the cutely rolled up Aww. I have to feed all right let's go Nope. 
I don't have much health, but I'm still alive. Oh, that. just get the foreign crown for example that would be amazing ah, the stupid zombie something good oh, no this is useless well I think the next one is just the boss so I'm not gonna be able to do this now that guy's just standing around hmm. well it was a good run it was a good run it's over but let's see how far I can get. It's fine. I got further than I expected. With her. She's definitely easier, but also I had a lot of luck very early on. And then later on I didn't really have all that much luck with health stuff, so... Yeah. If I would have gotten the potion later that would have been nice. Well, it did save me earlier, but because of a stupid reason. Well, 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 well. All right. <sighs> hmm. I've been streaming for four hours at this point. It's a pretty good amount, I would say. So... What did we do? We completed some runs with Cadence and Nocturna. I tried hard mode with Cadence and terribly failed. Which was, well, to expect. And tried hard mode with Nocturna and that went really well. I actually made it to the final boss. Well, the boss before the final boss, that is. To be exact. Uh, but yeah, that was a lot of fun. It was very Halloween. Had a lot of Halloween energy to it. 
Uh, where is the kitty? Oh, there she is. There's the kitty. No. Ooh. She loves it so much. So much. Alright, so, well, I'm gonna call it at this point, um, also getting slowly but surely tired, so, well, as I said, the raid alert is finished, so that's exciting, I just have to do a little, I have to go back and separate the video and the audio and see how that will go, so I can properly control the, the volume. We'll see. Um, yeah, so... After that... Yeah, so then I'm also gonna record the next tutorial this week. I'm pretty close to it. I, do, I just have to do the rehearsals. But other than that, I have all the materials and already most of the script. So that's very exciting and I'm soon gonna be able to edit it and next week I'm pretty sure I can release it. So in the first November week, that's gonna be very exciting. Uh, I'm just not so sure if a lot of people can <laughs> will be able to pay attention to uh, something like a drawing tutorial in that week when it's especially in the US, you know. It's a, it's a very eventful week. I'm pretty sure it's gonna be... What's happening? She's back there? No. She's, she left us. She went outside again. Oops. Yeah. Oh well. Well, <clears throat> but still, I'm gonna release it probably next week. Um, then... There are still gonna be some other videos that I have to do because I'm, I separated the next tutorial video into two, so I will have to do the recordings for that other tutorial too at some point. But anyways, um, so next stream on Saturday on actual Halloween, it's gonna be a, a another randomized color palette stream. So, you can suggest some keywords uh, with which the colors will be generated and uh, the keywords should be Halloween themed, so some, some silly, spooky, scary stuff that you can write in the chat and I can use that to generate some spooky, scary colors. Or some other kind of colors, it's randomized, you don't know. And I'm also gonna draw something of properly Halloween themed, so... It's gonna be interesting, and you are more than invited, more than welcome to draw something on your own, your own ideas with the color palettes that we draw. So, that's it for me. Kitty is unfortunately not here. She's outside, so she can't say bye. But, yeah. See you next week. Have a wonderful day slash night, wherever you are. Alright then.